Well, praise God, as this is Sunday afternoon nap time. <laughs> I thought I was going to just go and sit in my recliner and just relax and, you know, you kind of rehearse and meditate what took place during church and, uh, you know, what God was saying and so forth. And instead of going to my recliner, this just came upon me. The word forgiveness. The word forgiveness. This is so powerful. Forgiveness is actually a verb. And uh, forgiveness means you've got to give up something that you are retaining against somebody. Now, sometimes we may hold bitterness or resentment or an offense against somebody. Now, the word forgiveness means that you have to give something up in order for you not to be under stress. When you hold on to unforgiveness, you're holding on to something that gives the devil a foothold to put stress of anxiety, bitterness. And by the way, bitterness is not something you do to somebody else. You are actually poisoning your own spirit, soul, and body. Now, let me just say this, and that is, watch out not to have an attitude of temporarily forgiveness. You know, to have an attitude of a temporary forgiveness uh, is nothing more than actually manipulation. Because you can actually hold somebody in bondage. So I'll forgive you until you do this thing again. Then that's it. Forgiveness means that the offense is removed and that you do not hold anything against any person. Nor do you remind yourself constantly of the other person's uh, mistake or the things that they have done against you. God bless you, David Bloom. Blessings to you. You see, the power of forgiveness is the highest admiration towards our Lord Jesus Christ, admiring Him and saying, as you are, so am I. Your word declares, that means at Calvary, I've got to crucify my flesh, shift your thinking, become transformed in your thinking process towards anybody that you hold an offense against and let go and let God. Like Jesus, before he breathed out his last breath, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. When you release forgiveness, the power of peace that protects your heart, that protects your love, will become a ruler inside of you. And when you release somebody by forgiving them, you are freeing yourself of stress, anxiety, a possible oppression, okay? So, Remember, when you forgive, you're giving. For God so loved the world that He gave forgiveness through His Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So when you release forgiveness, you're actually giving up an offense. You're giving up bitterness. You're giving up the issue that is stressing you out against somebody. And as you forgive others, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. God bless you. 
I just felt I needed to release this. And if this is just fresh encouragement, then allow yourself to become totally encouraged through this. And remember, forgiveness is not a debate. We do not need to pray about forgiveness. Forgiveness is a lifestyle in action, in admiring Christ Jesus. Until next time, God bless you, and remember that Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Bye now.